Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Dude, you're hypnotizing them. <laughs> I'm just remembering the uh, the SpongeBob episode when they tried to put the poem. Oh yeah. On the air, yeah. And then it like killed everyone or something. I think. I yeah, it was remember. just bad, and it they was didn't like it. Pretty wacky. I remember that. Whoa, dude. I think my brain's not getting enough oxygen. <laughs> I just had the weirdest feeling. What I happened? think I'm getting hypnotized by the radio waves. <laughs> yeah, anyway, think... this is a cubic inch of sound. <laughs> Over the past week, we all, to some extent, played Night in the Woods. Um, my name is Luke, and I think I'm fucking dying. Uh, I'm Kevin, and I'm not. Oh my god, Kevin. <laughs> uh, my name is Nick, and I'm drinking water. Maybe I should be drinking water. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you should. <laughs> no, Kevin, I, th- I you... think you've just been looking. No, you've been watching the uh, the gamer hypnotized video for too long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gamer hypnosis. Ke- Kevin, how ha- how many times have you had fun facts that are just negations of someone else's fun fact? I feel like majority of them. Yeah, that's something that that I would totally love to look through every episode and find out, but I really don't want to do that at all, actually. If any of you viewers know, email. <laughs> <laughs> Square inch of Kevin not having a fun fact. Actually, yeah, that, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> also, um, a square inch of us doubting that Kevin has actually like played the game or watched the movie <laughs> or done whatever from that week. Yeah. I think Cause... I've at least done... Wait. Let me go through all of them in my brain. I've at least looked at all of them. That's what do you mean by looked at? A weird thing to say. <laughs> Actually, okay. Um, I've experienced majority of everything that we've done, except for Mario Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Remember when we were going to have, um, we were going to have you on for Mario Galaxy instead of Tim, yeah. and then we found out that you hadn't. <laughs> played it no, at Tim, all. Tim was like, oh, man, I really want to be on it. And everyone's like, yeah, you would have a lot, but we already have too many people. And I'm sitting here like, I was going to bullshit my entire way through. And I'm like, you know what, Tim? You, you can do the podcast if you want. I'll step away. And he's like, I don't want to take it from you. I'm like, do it, Tim. <laughs> Please, I didn't play it. <laughs> I've never played Mario Galaxy. I mean, really? To be honest, you could definitely bullshit. Like, oh, man. The part where Peach got (laughs) captured by Bowser? That was crazy. Guys, I don't know if you guys heard this, but Mario jumps? (laughs) It's his middle name. Jump Mario. Mario jumps Mario. Yeah. Mario jump Mario. (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, what did you guys think of Night in the Woods? Uh, You should read my Steam review. That is not I... worth it. Oh, okay, anything. let's read your Steam Wait, review. Wait, no, I actually am going to do that. Hold on. <laughs> um, I was going to make some comment about how the very first thing that happens mentions a, a dead grandfather. And you guys know where I'm yeah. going with this. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, lesbians? There are lesbians in this? Yeah, Does Luke, I'm, I'm, thinking your, I'm, I'm thinking your theory about lesbians and having strong relationships with their grandfather is true. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what can I say? I'm I'm never wrong. Okay, Name one example so, of me being wrong. Nick no. says, wonderful characters in a world that makes me want to read every snippet of dialogue there is to read. Alongside the characters and atmosphere, the music is phenomenal. You know, uh, that I was agree July with... 1st. That actually wasn't that long ago. I was expecting like six the, years ago. The game is not that old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I agree with... um. It does it does make you want to read every snippet of dialogue and the music was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah. I'm going to give this uh was this review helpful? Yes. <laughs> there you go. What is the award? Oh, it's, oh, it's like Reddit awards. Okay. Oh god. You can nominate it for game of the year. <laughs> review of the year. <laughs> what do you I'm think flattered. the best review of the year is? Um, probably from Report of the Week. If you think it it's exists. you think it's that uh Spider Man Miles Morales <laughs> yeah. review where he talks about what was it the swagger of the exaggerated, the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
classic <laughs> games journalism at their best. <laughs> Game reviewers do be kind of wacky, though. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just got really scared because people were quiet, and I looked at the recording software, and I didn't see any sound coming from the the other audio. And I'm like, oh, oh no. shit, did I fuck it up again? <laughs> and I didn't fuck it up. Okay, good. Yeah. Sorry, I almost fucked it up. It, I think so I was, yeah, I was yeah, playing this game. I've, I've got some notes written here. Let me, let me pull up these notes. I actually don't know how far I got into the game. Because I fell asleep while playing it for like four <laughs> hours and I woke up God. and I'm like, oh. I think you, you might have seen me just like playing the game for like a long ass time. I was asleep. I really did think you were playing it for a long ass time, but to be fair, while I was playing it, I was also eating and then watched the entire 30 minute Simple Flips video, so. I guess. Sounds we... like you guys were very invested in this game. <laughs> I don't eat while I. while I game, alright? I don't like it. Oh, oh yeah. Um, my first note here is that uh, Angus has a date in Sword People Online. And I thought yeah. that was funny because it oh, yeah. was like sword art online, you know, and made me go, "Ha ha!" Angus is Kirito. Also, <laughs> oh, this was this was a story that I wanted to tell. Um, I wanted to tell Kevin earlier, but I was like, I'll save it for the podcast." Um, basically, a while ago, somebody on my Discord friends list had changed their name to Number One Angus Fan, and they had changed their profile picture to Angus. And I didn't know what that meant. And I didn't even know who it was because they changed both their name and their profile picture. How am I supposed <laughs> to tell? Um, and, like, upon playing this yesterday, I messaged them and I'm like, Dude, I finally know who Angus is. I, I understand the reference. Are you proud of me? And they're like, Hell yeah, dude. And then I'm like, Also, who is this? <laughs> It's not important who they are. If I if I say if I say how I know them, it'll it'll out them. <laughs> it'll uh, give them. us important details about where they live and also their social security number. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't ask. Oh, l- let me do that right now. Hey, what's your social security number? <laughs> Overall, this game felt really weird. Yeah, I agree with that. It it has a very strange vibe to it, where at first it seems very like cutesy but Mm -hmm. but it's like it's kind of heavy yeah and also uh, one thing they do they like make all the dialogue feel awkward like when it when it's in between people who don't really know each other that well i thought that was even if they do know each other a lot of the dialogue is awkward that's true (laughs) yeah that's true i don't know i i I, kind of like that about it there's um there's a lot of drama yeah and I, I thought it was it was it was pretty decent drama at least it was yeah. good drama. Um, There's a lot of melodrama and also just like straight up hardcore drama. <laughs> yeah. The last thing I remember doing was getting electrocuted with a robot. Oh, I see. Um, mm-hmm. So I feel like I maybe missed all of that. I see. I remember seeing a severed arm, and I'm like, oh man, I wonder if that comes back. Um, no, it doesn't. Yeah. It's just a one-time thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Um, I got up to part three, so can, ha, can I spoil it for you, Kevin? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I know we, normally, we don't care about spoilers. Um, so it was past. There's a kidnapping at some point, and then they go mm-hmm. to the library to try and investigate that kidnapping, and that is where I got to. Okay. Um, but like, just to, oh boy, just in general, there was a lot of like, man. This is, I I mean, the kidnapping drama to me felt I like I cared a lot less about that than I did just like the intercharacter drama. Yeah. You know? When characters yell at each other, you're like, damn, this sucks. Yeah, I I felt like that for a lot of it, but I I did finish the game. And do you guys you guys again don't care about spoilers for the rest? No, of I it? I don't care. Okay, it gets fucking wacky it. from there, like the kidnapping <laughs> plot. They um go down they like they they search around like the graveyard library and all that stuff to try to find try to find clues, and then they go like to like way, way like far away from a town I think, and then like find a mine where there's like a cult, uh, mm-hmm. performing worship and like rituals and everything. 
Is they the chase cult? the cult? Do they all have teeth? Um, they might have teeth. The, the teeth of the minor dude? That was in the library. Um, I don't remember if they had teeth. I don't think it was a big thing. <laughs> huh. Damn. But, um, they, like, chase him down into the mine, and then, like, they're about to perform a sacrifice, and they tell them about why they're killing people, and they're trying to bring back the spirit of the town from when they were, uh, the citizens there, and apparently what? they're, like, hundreds of years old, and, like, just performing rituals in this mine. That's why oh. people go missing every once in a while, and then they collapse the mine and kill all of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the main characters all survive, but all the cult members presumably Yeah, I didn't die. see that coming. Well, that's very wacky come in and, and save not, the day. not at all the interpersonal drama <laughs> that a lot of it was. It has some pretty good interpersonal drama as a result, but... <laughs> Let's all it's... bond over, like, killing this entire cult. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I, that's essentially what happens. I would bond over killing a cult with you guys. If we went out and and murdered a whole bunch of cult members, you know, that would be a nice experience. Yeah, I mean, unless it's... Uh, well, I, I was going to say unless it's a good cult, but I don't really know many good cults. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I don't know any cults in... I don't know many cults in general, but... Yeah, Let's start a cult, some... and then we can die in a mine in a few hundred years. A lot of my notes were not really, like, story-related, <laughs> Some of it was gameplay related. A lot of it was just like weird little things that just made me want to go, huh, I should probably talk about this later. <laughs> uh, one of them is doing the triple jump sounds like hitting a villager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not <laughs> I know notice what you mean. that, actually. Now that you say that, I realize that. <laughs> I, um, I made a note about how, why does this cat do the Mario triple jump? Like, why, does, why is your third jump bigger? How does your that cat, Your cat can't do that? I've never seen either of my cats do a Mario triple jump. Speaking of cats, they can you know, jump pretty high in general, but speaking well, of they're, cats, they're just holding you know, back. Uh, I had a moment where I just realized, like, wait a minute, this is a game. These are all animal people. Because, like, you you get to a point where it's like, oh yes, this is just the world. All right, everyone's all animal people. It's fine. That's just how it works. But then when your dad says, "Hey, kitten," and "Good night, kitten," and then you say "meow" back. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck is this Discord moderator shit? Like, I don't want to... This is weird. I'm like, oh, wait. I'm a Kevin, cat. <laughs> I will have you know, I have a recording of you saying yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Kevin, yeah. the Discord moderator, tucks him into bed. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> 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 yeah, like... Stop. That was yeah, not like, me. That was fake. I, I, it was interesting that the the cats had a pet bird. That was like kind of. I was like, is that some oh, kind yeah. of sick sadism? Like, are they just keeping it as a prisoner? Like, what is going on there? It's like if I had a tiny little person in a cage, but they were like a monkey. <laughs> Something that you really like to eat. A burger. <laughs> 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 keep, a, keep a burger in a cage. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't fucking know. I'm at my limit here. I'm gonna fucking lose it. What did you guys think of the characters? Who? I thought... Um, I feel like a few times you had the choice between hanging out with Greg and hanging out with B. Yeah. Right. That's kind of. Yeah. From what I played, like. I really didn't like May that much. Honestly, May kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I kept waiting for there to be like a big redemption, and there like wasn't really. I I guess that's kind of just like priming, but because when you went to the mall and you were like shoplifting and forcing your friend to shoplift, they're like, "This is yeah. so fucking awful!" Like, yeah, yeah. I hated that. And it was just like, "Hey." I had like the little mini game where you had to like stop and go and I'm like I kept trying to get caught and I'm like please just like fucking give me the bed in here I don't want to steal <laughs> Kevin is such a boy scout he gets caught stealing <laughs> and it um, wouldn't let me get caught and I'm like wow I can't believe we got away scot free but I liked how they returned it later yeah, yeah. Um, he is a good influence because at first I was playing it I'm like man like at the beginning I'm like why does B fucking hate me so much 
Yeah. What did I do? And then the more you learn about the main character, the more you're like, well, that's fair though. <laughs> like I can yeah. see why B doesn't like me. It's just like yeah. I, I, I don't. I'm sort of. Every time there's a game where the main character is an asshole, where it's, like, story-driven like this, I mm -hmm. sort of enjoy it, but I'm sort of like, this sucks because it just forces you to be the asshole. Yeah. Especially when it gives you two, that. like, asshole dialogue choices, you know? Yeah. And did then you, it makes uh, you feel responsible. <laughs> did you guys get to the point where you were, like, at a party in a town, in, like, the next town over or whatever? I had a party in a forest. Don't think so. A night in the woods, okay. if you will. Well, <laughs> there's, like, peak asshole May at that point, because, like, B is trying to talk to somebody that they like, and May just keeps interrupting and oversharing about B's past until she, like, runs away crying. It's what awful. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm kind of glad I didn't get that far. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely gets better from there. Like, it's it's much more tolerable because there's a big, like, not not big moment, but there's, like, a nice moment where they reconcile everything and May starts to become a better person. But it's, that is a rough scene. <laughs> the, um, the argument with B and May um, at B's house, I don't know, this, yeah. this was, like, um, I don't think Kevin would have gotten here yet. But that was like really uh, painful to to play through and like look at, you know. Like mm -hmm. it was just, I'm like, dude, just stop talking. You're just making things worse. But there's no stop talking option. <laughs> there's no sorry, I gotta go option. You just keep saying things. <laughs> yeah, the, there is your there is your me. computer's power button. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because like but then I, every then I single diet, like every single set of dialogue for like the main character and everyone else, everyone's trying to be the sarcastic, funny guy, and it was getting a little grating. Like everyone was trying to be funny, and it just it Except didn't really land guess. for me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't really get that vibe from it. I feel like, um, I feel like their parents were sort of weird because it. It, it it sort of it shows like a weird relationship with May and their parents where um mm -hmm. the parents joke around with them a lot but then also kind of suck sometimes. But yeah. I feel like that was what they were going for. I feel like that's a somewhat realistic yeah. like depiction. It, def it definitely is. It kind of like comes to a head later on in the story too. Mm -hmm. Where there's a a, a bigger um, not payoff I guess but climax to that relationship. Nice. Good or bad. Epic. Also, um, it's it's like a confrontation, but it does. I, I mean, I just don't need to worry about spoilers. Like May's May and her mom get in an argument. And she like her mom yells at her and everything, and then whose they fault was it? Later. Um, a little bit of both, but it seems like all right. I liked a little bit of both because her May was trying was having a hard time talking about um like the whole dropping out of college thing and she like didn't kept delaying talking about it and her mom got really frustrated because her daughter just dropped out of college and didn't talk about it at all yeah so it was kind of a little bit all right that's i think that's both. deserved it, it, that, that was it was a good uh a good payoff there i think i think the most fun i had in this game was a uh, demon tower <laughs> yeah demon tower i sat there and i played that for a while that was really fun <laughs> The I, fake Guitar Hero was also really good. I didn't want to play Hero Demon Tower weird. for too long because I knew that it would just like that that I should probably be playing the story. Um, yeah, it kind of reminded me of Hyper Light Drifter, like with the, yeah. the yeah. graphics and the gameplay. Um, the rhythm yeah, it, game, it's... the rhythm game was fun. The third one, what I which was what I got to, was like really fucking difficult. <laughs> I don't know yeah, why. Th th yeah, there were there was maybe that one and i think maybe one other one that i like had a lot of trouble with but thankfully you don't need to like up. get a score to progress because in guitar hero at least from my experience they give you some leeway of when you can hit like you can kind of hit the notes a little bit early in guitar hero like yeah. a little bit late from what it actually shows but in this one it's like super strict on the sprites and i kept screwing me up mm -hmm. and every time my controller vibrated i'm like ah, i just panic <laughs> <laughs> yeah i yeah what, i didn't really I have I I didn't have too much trouble with the timing, but like the 
mapping the buttons in my head were was yeah. weird because it was using the face buttons but like all um like in a line instead mm-hmm. of in the directions a, a like, lot of the time a lot a lot of the time when i would mess up it would be because like i just forgot where the button was yeah. and then i'd like get it wrong look down and then get like a ton of them wrong and i'd be like like <laughs> whenever i would screw it up it would just compound i was also really... using not an xbox controller but oh, like okay. on x input mode so i was like in my head i was imagining the xbox layout <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess that I know sounds... just well enough to play this. Yeah, I was using an Xbox controller, so I guess that mm. helped a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> this game, you need an Xbox controller to be- to beat it. Yeah, I was talking to Luke earlier, and he's like, "Are people gonna make fun of me if I use the controller?" I just <laughs> like... feel like this is one of those games that people would just implicitly play with the keyboard because it's just like keyboard yeah. game. I don't know, I whenever I, I see 2D platformer, it's like I just reach for a controller. Even though it yeah. really wasn't a 2D platformer. Yeah, it had I... had some light platforming. <laughs> Very light. Yeah. yeah. I, I played it with a keyboard up until the guitar part, and then I played with the controller. What, what Did you use, like, the number keys? or Was it, like, arrow keys? What was it? For the guitar thing? Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I remember... It, it was probably ZXCV. I... Right. I rem- I don't really remember because I just immediately switched to using the controller. At that point. You, you saw the layout and you're like, no, I'm not doing <laughs> this. No way. <laughs> Unplayable. Yeah. So uh, why does everyone do crimes? Why does everyone love doing that? Why is everyone a criminal in this game? <laughs> well, I mean, the main characters are criminals. Why? <laughs> I mean, people who like do petty crimes like that are probably going to hang out together. True. Except B is kind of cool, at least. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We might have Probably peer pressured her into, <laughs> into the shoplifting, but she returned <laughs> it, so it's okay. It seems like every single character is a criminal, and they're like, yo, let's all like do crimes and stuff, and it's like, ah, I don't really want to. And they're all yeah. like, man, we hate society, and I'm like, ah, I, you know, I kind of enjoy living in society, you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like the crimes thing was mostly just May and Greg. Yeah, I think so. And right. I was just like, they did that together. And, I mean, hating society is pretty common for college students. Yeah, it's, you know, you gotta have that, like, punk aesthetic. Yeah. You're not, Especially if you have a punk, punk at all, Kevin? I am wearing uh, a Ninjago <laughs> sweatshirt <laughs> with, with the hood up and my gaming headphones on top of them. Is that I was, punk? I was <laughs> really wondering where that was going. <laughs> like, how, yeah. like, what you could possibly be wearing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm realizing we're talking about punk. I'm wearing a Schoolhouse Rock t-shirt that says vote. <laughs> <laughs> well, voting is that, punk. Yeah, I guess that's true. Think about it. Punk is you hate the way that things are and you want it to change. You can only do that by voting, right? We're starting a revolution, so. but no one's doing or that. skateboarding. Yeah, skateboarding. <laughs> Where were the skateboards in this game? You're right. There were no skateboards. Imagine a Tony Hawk minigame. Be pretty cool. Just like, like Tony Hawk is in the game. <laughs> hey guys, t- Tony Hawk, pro skater here. They're like, whoa, what the fuck are you? You're you're not an animal. He's like, I'm I'm a person from. Earth. No, they would have made him a hawk. Society. He's a hawk, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's a he's an absolute animal on the half pipe. <laughs> um, I really hate it. Also, how immature May acts. Like, yeah. That that was just frustrating to me. Not like with the dropping out of college, but you know, like that. Sure, whatever. Do whatever you want. I, th- I'm not. I'm not gonna judge. But just in general, she very much acted like a child the whole time. And it's like, dude, I'm a college sophomore. I don't. I don't want to be like that. Yeah. I feel like the point is to not want to be like that. Yeah. I, they're, I, like, they're clinging I to the past too much and trying to keep everything the way that it was like before they went to college or something. Was yeah, that's, that the that's... message? Definitely what it was, because she, like, grows a decent, not a decent amount, but, like, she grows enough by the end that you can tell she's on the road to becoming a better person. Like, it, yeah. it, it, it leaves it at a point where you're like, okay, May is not going to be an asshole forever. But does I, she go to church every Sunday? <laughs> I feel um, like it... If you visit your mom in church, then yes. It very much sets up this dichotomy of, like, Greg being 
the influence who just kind of hasn't changed at all since high school and just kind of wants to keep being immature forever. And then Mm -hmm. B, who was kind of forced to grow up and, like, has just become super jaded because of it. It, it se- what I what I got is May seems like she's kind of trying to stay in between because Greg is like very immature, but he's also kind of um, I don't Content know all- about it. Yeah, yeah. He's not trying to uproot his life, and he's mm-hmm. not having a crisis over it. Whereas <laughs> May seems to be trying to like keep everything the same while also moving on not moving on but like moving forward and it doesn't really work out for can me. i just say that greg's arms are made of spaghetti you can't say that <laughs> you're not <laughs> allowed to maybe he's an adventure time character you know true i would uh, yeah did you guys play the mini game where you smash light bulbs behind yes. the store yes, that was did. a fun one it was kind of uh, that was a dream section, yeah it was kind of hard but it was it? fun oh, there were um, a bunch of those yeah there were a few the, I know there was a dream where you smash up cars and shit. Um, yeah. But then, in real life, Greg is like, "Hey, I got these big like light fixtures. You want to go smash them behind the store?" And then yeah. you do with a bat. There's also like a boss fight dream where what? you have to like defeat a giant mech crane thing. Damn. Oh yeah. Get Speaking of boss fights, how far did you get in uh, the Demon Spy or whatever? <laughs> I only played like a couple levels of it. Yeah, me too. Just about. I got to the one boss who had like the uh, the star and just kept like spawning stuff. I think I I, I think I just made it past the fur. Um, I think I made it to the second boss, but didn't beat it. I, I think I beat three bosses, and okay. then I'm like, maybe I should play the real game now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys notice that the the car like noises are just like voiced? No. I think it was people. I think somebody voiced those car engines. Oh my god, there's somebody trapped in that car! (laughs) It reminded me of this excellent game I played once. It was called Fight and Flight. It was a a flying sim where the engine noise was a it was a person making the sound. Really? Can you give us a can you give us a sample of what it sounded like? No. I wish, I mean, if I knew the person who voiced that, believe me, I would get him on the podcast as soon as I could. I guess uh, we'll have to... Yeah, I I agree with that comparison. I think Night in the Woods definitely is missing a general, though. There needs to be a general character for it to really push it over the top. You know, I don't remember there being a general character in the game, in uh, Fight and Flight. Um, There wasn't, but there should have been. you've played Fight and Flight? I have one particular general that I'm have in mind. I think he should be in all games. Oh yeah, the general from that commercial, right? Yeah, you go need to, to go to him to save, save some, some time. time. <laughs> <laughs> he has a penguin sometimes for some reason. <laughs> Just no, no, no. Think about it. He's a speedrunner. You got to go to the general <laughs> to save some time. Go to the general. All right, that's a time save. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the general is like you. Just win the game if you talk to him. <laughs> also, um, well, uh, we were talking earlier about how May loves uh, doing crimes, right? You yeah. know what she won't do? What crime she refuses to do? Run in the library. I don't know why. I just wanted to move quickly. Like, there's no one there. No one's gonna yell at you. Yeah, that was Dude. strange. Maybe she just really respect <laughs> respects knowledge. Either May I is did. like such a slow runner. Where all the buildings are like massive, because it takes like five seconds of full-on sprinting to get from your, the door of your house to like the kitchen. I, d- I don't think it's full-on sprinting. I think I think it, it looks like, like more jog. of a jog. Yeah. I, even so, like, I feel like jogging in your house, you clear it pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't usually run in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she may be a slow runner, but she is a monumentally fantastic jumper. Jumping on uh. On telephone lines, no. Oh, I really like, like how it plays, is. like, the guitar strums. Yeah. Yeah. And also, oh... Did you ever get uh, caught? I don't think so. No. At least I didn't. <laughs> oh, did I have you... a question. Um, yeah. Did you guys eat the tacos, or did you not eat the tacos? Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Oh. I think I did. Me too. I always go for tacos. I mean, I don't remember if I did, but I would if I had tacos. So you probably did then. Yeah. Um, did right. you did you guys do the um, 
constellation finding. Yeah, I was actually yeah. going to talk about that. I looked that was at really those cool. any opportunity I had. Yeah, I, I remember I, I always went up there to make sure he was there because I never wanted to miss him. Those were really fun to... That, that, that was like some of my favorite dialogue in the game, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, kind of unsettling, because I saw one of the constellations, and I'm like, oh yeah, this dude, he, like, he murdered like a whole bunch of people. And yeah, but then they kind like, of yo, it. I want a tattoo of that person, he sounds awesome, and it's like, no, this is like a real thing, like, <laughs> this isn't cool, and she's like, oh man, I love it, this is awesome, it's like, oh, stop, <laughs> be like, nice for once. <laughs> <laughs> Just be nice, May. Just be nice. And he Why was Russian, I think. Way? So he had an, an accent in the game, or he would have if he was voiced. Oh, true. Man, we need to get a, a voice acting patch <laughs> for this game. A fan dub. Yeah. Keep a inch of sound, Night in the Woods fan dub. Bro, we should totally do a dub. That would be awesome. Yeah, that actually would be pretty fun. We, we should, should make it a Patreon reward. A sub? Is that <laughs> what you said, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> a fan sub? <laughs> like, the game is already subbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so would like the the patch would that overwrite? Would, would it completely overwrite the subs, or would it just like put them as well? Well, I, I'm not saying it's a mod. It's like a video. So yeah, the subtitles would just appear. Okay. Like YouTube subtitles. Let's we'll upload very... like a long play, no commentary, and just use the YouTube subtitle function. Hundred <laughs> percent playthrough. <laughs> I think what we would need to do is like. We would need to find a game that none of us have ever played before and then just come up with our own subtitles for what's happening at any given point. <laughs> You're like, yep, these are our fan subs. Actually, we don't even need to play the game. We can just make some fan subs for someone else's long play. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. I guess that's what we're doing next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we've been pl- we've been thinking about doing the uh, the re-suggest December for a while, but scratch that. We're just doing fan subs. <laughs> fan subs. Oh, it's not September. Fan subs. And <laughs> fan substitute. It's me, the substitute. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. Air conditioning is a pretty good fan substitute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. In but, fact, um, some might say it's even better than the original. That's, yeah, that's debatable. <laughs> It's probably true, though. Use a lot of energy, though. That's true. So, Nick, I have a question. Yeah? Did you play Night in the Woods in the past week? Um, I played a little bit of it. I didn't play the whole thing in the last uh, week. Okay. Because I'd beaten it before. Understand. Kevin somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the turntables. <laughs> Can't wait for that to go in the... the I don't know, in the Kevin secret, the hidden episode, people were, were roasting me for... <laughs> eating paprika not on papri- paprika week <laughs> I I guess Kevin you go above and beyond the call of duty <laughs> you deserve a medal of honor yeah um what was I gonna say I noticed that the uh the turnaround animation I really liked it when you you know when you run one the way, one way and then you oh then yeah you go the other way and then it was and so smooth blinks. She, like, can, that's the only time she blinks is when you turn. If you if you dash dance, if you keep going from one direction to the other, like it looks pretty neat. Yeah, that's what I did for like like twenty minutes straight. I just did that. I just sat there. I feel I was like mesmerized. your your thumbs would hurt. They probably dash wouldn't. To be honest, for twenty minutes. I've gamed for twenty minutes. But I don't think you've just waggled them back and forth for twenty minutes straight. Well, yeah, but this. The the timing for this dash dance is a lot looser than in like melee. It's yeah. Like a, you it's like... it's a very slow dance. It's like a it's like a it's a dash waltz. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to make <laughs> stick noises. Uh, let me put it right up to the mic. Do you guys hear this? It doesn't really matter if we hear it. Whatever. It's <laughs> you you get the point. It's slow. It's slower. You're slow. Slow character, slow animations, slow movement. You're slow. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. I like to. Was, was this directed at Kevin or was this like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, when you go to the mall with B, first yeah. of all, it was definite like real, um, 
modern day mall vibes, you know? Yeah. Not modern day like yeah. right now, but in general. I mean, also right now. Oh, you go into like the yeah. uh, the bootleg like, hot topic, and they're like, "Whoa, I can't believe it's 2017, and they're still selling this stuff." And I'm like, <laughs> <Yeah>. "Man." <laughs> I remember going oh, into Hot Topic in like, 2019. That was I been after. Hot, I don't. I don't know if I've been in Hot Topic within the past couple of years. I went. I went into Hot Topic on my date. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely went into Hot Topic. Uh, the mall that we went to instead of going to prom, and by we I mean neither of you. <laughs> we went to the Hot Topic in there, but not during prom. It was like the week before. Um, oh man, I wish I was at hub. Oh, hot but topic. anyway, uh, my wait, what I was gonna say is, um, B mentioned thinking for some reason that God had a last name, and it reminded oh, me yeah. of when I was a kid, and I thought that God was his was his um his last name, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry A. God. <laughs> I don't know why it just it just seemed like that. John, I think, I, I think uh, God I, is an acronym. Oh, it was because at church, I think they would say, thanks be to God. But they said <laughs> it quickly. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah I, I thought that they were saying, thanks, Peter God. <laughs> <laughs> Peter God. So I was like, oh, I see. His full name is Peter God. Man, people named <laughs> Peter must feel so special. <laughs> It's like Peter people God. named Jesus, you know. <laughs> I like how how informal that sounds too in the context of church. It's like, thanks, Peter God. <laughs> Yo, Peter God, you gave us all this stuff. Uh, thanks. <laughs> hey, thanks, Luke Hamill. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Address me as Luke God from now on. <laughs> That's that sounds like something a Discord mod would make you say. <laughs> oh no. As punishment for posting memes in general, you will refer to me <laughs> as Luke God. <laughs> I feel like that's the opposite of what you would want to be referred to as. What would you be referred to as? Me? Luke, or Kevin Vermin. Uh. <laughs> you said the opposite. Well, I thought he was like Satan and stuff, you know? Oh, I see. Oh, I, I, I didn't meant, even I thought you meant on, like, what you were saying. <laughs> I thought you meant on like the power spectrum. Yeah. Oh. That's why I, I didn't. I, I don't think you're actually vermin, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. Kevin worships vermin. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that that sounds you know, like they it could be quite be powerful. An insult. We're underestimating them. I underestimate their power. Yes. Oh. Uh, huh. I Kevin you. worships vermin. Man, next time I'm trying to make fun of someone's religion, I'm definitely going to say that they worship vermin. <laughs> and believe me, How I make fun of make people's fun? religions a lot. <laughs> okay. My whole religion is making fun of people's religion. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, true. Like, like half. Half of my religion is making <laughs> my No, no, religion his religion is, is making fun, making of, fun half of half of all religions. All religions. <laughs> You know what? Half of these religions suck. Half of them are all right. They're fine. Not a big yeah. deal. I'm not going to be offended or anything. I think most religions are... Uh, we probably shouldn't talk too deeply about religions. But we Listen, we already got rid of our no politics rule. I think we can talk yeah, but... about religion if we want to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, screw it. I was just, just going to you know, say, I think most religions are probably fine. Just I feel like... Ones. Most people in most religions are, are probably fine. The organizations themselves, I, I don't know, probably depends. I just mean, like, most religions by pure quantity of religions. Because, like, most religions, there's a lot of, like... Obscure-ass uh, religions. Obscure, it's just, like, a lot of ones that just focus on spirituality and taking care of yourself. And Actually, yeah, that's great. true. Uh, earlier today, Luke and I were talking, and he, he asked me a very interesting question. He says... Uh, at what point in your life is it best to make a religion? <laughs> and I didn't have an answer, so I'm going to delegate Nick to answering that question. I really didn't... I, I remember saying it now, but when you started that sentence, I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck did I say that Kevin is bringing up? Like, really scared that I 
that I had said something <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but I was just thinking, like, I would, I would love to design my own religion. You know, I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could make something. You have to go to college like, for that. No, you don't. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm already going to. I can. Like, I have to go to a college, or like, there's a specific. Like, I have to major in religion making. <laughs> <laughs> religion design. <laughs> religion design is a very, very common. It's like interior. Uh, it's like a sect of interior design. <laughs> all religions are just to look. <laughs> all, all, <laughs> all religions are just a sect of interior design. My my churches would have like lava in them. They would be awesome. <laughs> Think about what? it. Would they just like would they have like what? designated lava areas or they would look like Bowser's lava. castle? <laughs> oh, are they just like you you do some prayer or whatever, and lava just drops from the ceiling like Nickelodeon slime? What? <laughs> <laughs> you baptize children in lava instead of holy water. <laughs> That's so metal. <laughs> what do you mean metal? How are we gonna get any new members if we keep baptizing kids in lava? Eventually. You're going to find the kid who doesn't burn up, and you're like, this is the savior. <laughs> Holy shit, this kid didn't burn up. Guys, I think we just made a religion. <laughs> See, I told you it was easy. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I actually went to college for uh, religion design. satanic design. <laughs> Satanic design specifically, like not not even you didn't major in religion design. You you majored in a religion that already exists. <laughs> <laughs> Designing the religion. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, you guys, uh, got any more thoughts about Night in the Woods before we give our final recommendations or final? Would you recommend notes. to a friend? Yeah, I I, w I have I think. You no, did. yeah, I have recommended it. Yeah. So yes, I would recommend it. <laughs> you, you not only um, recommended it to us, you recommended it on Steam. That's true. Um, I'd probably recommend it. It's, I mean, to be honest, it's the kind of game where, like, it barely feel. Uh, most games I feel like I go to for escapism. This game, despite being cartoony, was at times very real. So I was like, yeah. ah, this is an escapism. So if you're looking I for escape escapism, then maybe go play something else but like go play or... highway blossoms <laughs> <laughs> yeah specifically highway blossoms um if you want some if you want a a cute cute little game with a surprisingly heavy story then go ahead go do it uh i probably wouldn't recommend it because there wasn't a lot of game to the game personally you just recommended Highway Shut Blossom. Up. Okay, I just realized I said that. Yeah. <laughs> you recommended a literal visual novel <laughs> in which there is literally no game to be had. <laughs> it is just reading. I would recommend the computer game, uh, Demon Tower, or whatever. Demon. I feel like I keep changing the name every time I say it. <laughs> no, it's it's Demon Tower. Right? It, oh, it is Demon Tower. Yeah. That was pretty fun. Yeah, this is pretty good. Anyway, Bro, so... that dude just installed it on a flash drive and it just took over a computer. Yeah, that was pretty weird. That, I, I thought that we brought our guess. laptop with us to, to fix. That seems like the reasonable thing to, to yeah. do. How many times can uh, she get electrocuted and just live? Well, I mean, the definition cat, of so. electrocution is <laughs> that you die. So, technically none. Yeah, but she's a cat, so she has nine lives. That's oh. true. All right, you got me there. Is that does, does I actually die nine times? Is that a thing? I, That'd be kind of cool. I don't think so. It feels like it's probably less than that because in the time that I played, it wasn't it wasn't close to nine. Also, they never mentioned that. I don't think unless it's like a passing thing. I I'm pretty sure that <laughs> canonically, May does not have nine lives. <laughs> Well, no, I I think it would be a good it would be a good like little subtle subtle in like it, hint you know not a hint you get, like you, a... you'll you'll see it in the fan sub <laughs> yeah so wait do these animal people have animal like powers they're actually um sorry they they're wait first of all what the fuck do you mean animal like powers <laughs> actually like <laughs> well because uh May or whatever her name is um she can like 
go on the power lines and stuff and land on her feet, you know? Are there any bird uh, people that can fly? Um, in Bojack Horseman, the bird people can fly. It's really weird. Maybe it's, it's the Bojack Horseman cat out. universe. Did you say, you're, did you say he's throwing his cat out? What? <laughs> well, I guess we can wait for him to get back. It sounded like he said he was throwing his cat out. What? I said I have to let my cat out oh. of my room. She was scratching on the door. <laughs> Sounded like, sorry, I have to throw my cat out. <laughs> Onto the power lines. It expired. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, uh, my cat went bad. What was I going to say? I was going to say an actual thing. Bojack and then Horseman. you started talking about the cat powers. Oh. Damn. Probably something to do. Uh, probably something to do with nine lives. Maybe fan sub. Oh yeah, the nine lives thing. I was gonna say there is a game that did something really similar to that as a subtle reference. But if I say it's it's kind of a spoiler, I guess. Okay. So I'll. Xenoblade I'll tell you guys Chronicles after. Two. No. Oh. Not even close. Xenoblade oh. Chronicles One. Yes, you got it. I lied. It was oh, very close. Not close. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Blade one or two? It wasn't bad. Then it's X, right? Or was it X? You, one and yeah, two are pretty I, far from. You X know, there the are level. more games than just the Xenoblade series. But what else do you play? You play Zelda, Valhalla. Kevin, you can't act like I don't play many games. Have you seen my Steam library? I got one twenty. What do you got? Um. I don't know how to list this without listing everything. This lists 257, but that includes free games. Oh. Um, Why would would free games not count? Because I didn't buy them. That feels like it doesn't count. Okay, 225. Okay. Huh. On Steam. And Nick has like 7. I have 105. Uh, what? <laughs> it's what? a lot more than 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been... I was like... Trying. To, well, we should go to uh, suggestions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So it is a special suggestion week. Uh, this week among uh, also other weeks, but so the whole month really. Um, <laughs> all of the weeks in which we're doing ones for December. So this week and and the rest the, the next three weeks, right? That number of yeah. weeks, something like that. That's um, about. That's when we're gonna. No, wait, four weeks. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be bringing back suggestions. We don't like new suggestions. We say we got too much of a backlog. And some of these were really good suggestions. So you know what? We're gonna go back to them. We're not looking at any of the games this time because fuck games. We already I played like games. one. Games I like are cool. Games. I don't don't actually fuck games. I have two hundred twenty five <laughs> of them on Steam. But the point is, <laughs> we're we're gonna be suggesting resuggesting from other categories. So um, night in the woods. You can't if we already did it. That's the against... web. The the pl let's play. So it's a YouTube series. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to bring back Foundation. Uh, it was a book okay. that Dan suggested. Um, it's by Isaac Asimov, who is famous for like doing a lot of shit for the field of robotics despite not really actually doing anything he just wrote <laughs> sci-fi but like still somehow influencing robotics a whole fucking absurd amount um i started reading one of these books it wasn't foundation it was like a prequel to it um but i liked it a lot you know it was, it was very good it just um so i'd like to read this one yeah nice all right um i'm gonna bring back i think this was also dan's suggestion eyes without a face uh, it's mm. a movie. It, I think it's like a horror movie. It seems interesting. It Edgar is. Wright really likes it. So isn't it French? I believe so. Is it dubbed? Um, probably. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> That's the one we can do fan subs for. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my face! No. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna bring back the Dark Knight. Ooh. Okay. Also a good. Because I haven't seen it in like 10 million years. That's fair. That's a good reason. It's a good movie. It is good. Um, I I had suggested that one because, like, I feel like it's not the best. Okay, if we're look, it's if we're if we're rating all of the superhero movies as superhero movies, I feel like Infinity War is the best superhero movie. But 
Dark Knight is the best actual movie, you know? Yeah. Like, if I were to actually critically rate all of the superhero movies, Dark Knight would probably be, at the very least, like, up there. I'd I'd say Dark Knight's probably top three with, like, Logan and probably another one. Probably into the (laughs) Spider-Verse. Um... Yeah, I, I was gonna say it was like top something, but then I'm like, I really, I, I don't know. I top hundred at least. <laughs> I would hope so. Then again, there are a lot of superhero movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think the top superhero movie of 2020 is the Sonic movie because what? no Marvel movie came out. You can't. Just say that it's a superhero movie. I. That's what I. Yeah. I don't make the rules. That's what it says on the internet. The internet makes the rules. What internet? <laughs> I think who... it's called. It's like the highest grossing superhero movie of this year. But who Infinity. decided that it's a superhero movie? Me. You just said you don't make the <laughs> okay, rules. Okay, no, 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 wait, wait. I need to find a. I'm gonna find a source on this. We should vote well. Okay, we listen. I'm sure somebody said that, but I disagree. I don't think it's a superhero movie. What other superhero movies came out? I I'm not saying that it's that has to be that has to be. I'm at not least saying one. it's competing against like like so the Sonic movie was perfectly fine. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying it's not a superhero movie. And actually, honestly, it wasn't that good. <laughs> it, was, it was it was good. Wikipedia calls it an action adventure comedy film based on the video game franchise of the same name. Screen I mean, Rant says I guess Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog ends Marvel's ten year run as highest grossing superhero movie. <laughs> it's like well, I, if, he he has powers and he is a hero, I guess, but I don't think that makes him I don't know. He's a video game character. I don't I don't know exactly how we can decide superhero here. Because I will admit that Sonic does have a lot of the same qualities as superheroes. Certainly, superheroes don't have to be based on comics. Because There's a you've super got, like, villain the in it, right? Incredibles, for instance. Um, I guess. Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, in the tagline, it says now it's super villain versus super Sonic, even though he doesn't yeah. go super Sonic. He's a, he's a super Sonic, not a superhero. <laughs> there. Sonic isn't a hero. You shouldn't look up to him. Okay. He's a bad role model. <laughs> he kind of is, though. No copyright bad. law in the universe is going to stop me. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know if we want to vote between the three of these, because it's just the three of us. Um, what we did in the so we argue night until, was we just uh, talked about that. Until we just come up with one. And if nobody, if we can't agree, then nobody leaves. It's like that one movie. What Indeed. movie? Like something Angry Men? I don't know. Oh, 12, oh, 12 Angry, Angry Men? Men? <laughs> I didn't know how many there were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that was about a jury, for the record. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, that was a, a slightly more consequential argument than this one. <laughs> well, they were just deciding we somebody's life. We're deciding what we're going to watch <laughs> slash read. Um, I am honestly not too interested in Eyes Without a Face. Um it seems at least mildly interesting to me. I, I'm kind. I'm kind of okay with all three of these. Um, yeah. I just thought, the I'm Dark gonna look Knight, it up. The first image I'm, intrigues me. I'm gonna vote for it. I'm personally pretty interested in Foundation. I I, I kind of want to read that. Mm-hmm. Eyes without a face looks weird. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> okay, so can I say probably not Eyes without a face then? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I would so, say not, Ke- Kevin, uh, how do you, how do you feel about Foundation and The Dark Knight? Let me see how many uh, words there are in Foundation. <laughs> you're not going to be able to tell just by the number of words. You need a <laughs> reference point if you're going to look up the number of words. The, Luke, it the came more out in... words, the more words a book has, the better it is. Oh, in 2021, <laughs> there's going to be a TV series. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I think I heard about that. Um, it was published 1942. Wait, that, wait, is that right? Oh my god, I looked up foundation length, and it said seven and a half to eight inches, and this is about foundation for, like, construction. Oh, okay, no, this is 1951. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, an eight-inch thick book? <laughs> There's 251, uh, 255 pages. Okay, that's, oh, that's pretty Man, they were cool. still stuck on that uh, that bit limit, right? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They hadn't even really made computers yet. They were still... still Isaac Asimov, ahead of his time, as always. 
Uh, Google, is it good? <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Google, is it good? Google, is it good? Some good. dude on Reddit says he rereads it every two years. One or two years. Sounds like something Dan would say. Yeah, I was about to say, that sounds like Dan with the Witcher. Let me check and see if it's Dan's. <laughs> Everyone says it's outdated, but extremely well written and certainly worth the read. Yeah, but right. so is Batman. Is is Batman that outdated? <laughs> it was two thousand eight. When was the first Batman comic released? The first Batman comic was not The Dark Knight, and. To be honest, probably not worth the read. I'm kind of making um, just a judgment there, but... <laughs> this is 2016, but I'm not going to believe that. <laughs> Dude, can you believe that <laughs> The Dark Knight got turned into a comic book? It's crazy. It came out around the same time. Um... So anyway, is anyone I... interested in the, the Dark Knight? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I, I would I would enjoy it. Yeah, I would also good. enjoy Foundation, obviously. Which I, is why. These these are both good choices, I think. One's a book and one's a movie. We That's haven't true. done a book yet. It's a lot of pages, though. We could we could have done the actually book. not many pages at all. Yeah, like I was expecting. Oh, I was looking up word. I need to look up word count. I was expecting <laughs> I was it to up. be like four hundred pages or something, because that's yeah, kind of that's a very reasonable be. size for a a book that old and that. It says eighteen novels. That's a lot of words. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? How are you measuring it in novels? <laughs> I wrote found, foundation as a mouth novel. Oh, count. Wait a minute. Word count. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, th this is like a, a pretty standard looking book. <laughs> it's pretty it's standard. 77 as far as size goes. But is it like Percy Jackson's? Oh, so. That's that's wait, wait more than any essay I've written. What, really? 77,000? What, what do you mean, really? Do you think he's written an entire novel <laughs> as an essay? Yeah, I haven't oh, written I he said that. That was less than what he's written. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, what fucking yeah, project not, do you not, have to write not, a fucking novel for? I'm not, I'm not writing? writing any dissertations yet. <laughs> In my sophomore year of college. Okay, wait a minute. So, um... This, from looking it up on Wikipedia, this said 70,000. You're getting 77,000. Um, it should be noted that Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone has 76,944. So, oh. it's just about the same length as the first Harry Potter. Oh, wait. That's Percy pretty short. Jackson. You can bang that out in a weekend. Uh, Easily. The Labyrinth. Unless you could, it's like, you could read uh, this in a day. Dense. Definitely. Yeah, you could. Unless it's like absurdly dense reading for some reason. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure that the words are a little bit bigger than in Harry Potter, but <laughs> damn, like big, bigger not. font size, you mean? Or <laughs> yeah, um, for, for people who can't see the yeah. labyrinth. I read that in a day, and uh -huh. it's eighty five thousand. Nice. So you could definitely so could read this fine. in a day, then. If it's yeah. good, then I could probably do it. If it's I'll, as I'll good be as the Percy, judge Jackson. If it's Percy Jackson, the labyrinth <laughs> level good. All right, that's a pretty high bar. Well, now that we've uh, now that we've decided that it's about Harry Potter length, I'm I'm definitely feeling Foundation. How about you guys? Yeah, me too. I'm gonna feel it until I'm not feeling it anymore. I'm really not feeling it, guys. Uh... Oh wait, we forgot Dan's suggestion. Oh shit! God damn it! <laughs> uh, he suggested the Cornetto trilogy. He did no. suggest the Cornetto trilogy. But now I kind of want to just do foundation, so... Suck it, Dan. We're using your other suggestion. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> loser. We think past you is better than present you. <laughs> to, to, address a, him. to address the Cornetto trilogy and give it a fair consideration, um, it would be fun to discuss it, but it's almost like... I almost feel like we've assimilated those movies too much, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like I've done all the thinking I can about at least about the world's end and I, um, I, and hot yeah. fuzz. I have a feeling that I would overlook a lot of things because I just have discussed them so much already. Yeah, same. I don't think I've discussed them um, at all. I've uh, watched the world's end once. I've 
watched Shaun of the Dead twice, and I've watched Hot Fuzz like three times. I watched like... Hot Fuzz at least ten times. Like that's not. That, I, I had to track it at some point, and yeah. I lost track. <laughs> I think I think I've seen Hot Fuzz like five or six times. I would. I told Kelsey I would watch it again with her. Okay. So I guess I got to do that at some point. Kelsey, Maybe if you're listening week. to this, comment a time you want to watch this with Luke. Kelsey doesn't listen to the podcast. She's not cool enough. That's true. Good point. Anyway, it sounds like we're doing Foundation. Which is cool because I want to do a book. Yeah, it'll book be cool time. to do a book. How am I going to play the times two speed? <laughs> Audiobook? But you can find Don't one give, him, give him suggestions. No, but that's actually a decent idea. <laughs> I was honestly thinking audiobook and just like yeah. sleeping. Don't not while you're sleeping. Why, why, why? <laughs> you're I'm not still gonna, absorbing it, right? You're not just gonna osmosis the book into your mind. <laughs> what is this fucking Dexter's lab? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> no, I don't. He um. Remember he, John Tess? He Probably made it. Okay, Dexter made a machine that would um. He was supposed to learn French, right? And he had like a oh, French I do learning remember this actually. audio, but yeah. And uh, oh, the record yeah. got stuck, and it only taught him omelet du fromage, <laughs> and that's the only <laughs> word that he could say because it like brainwashed him. <laughs> but the next day, his French test was only one question, and it said, "What is omelet with cheese in French?" <laughs> I gotta that's say, it was a top tough. tier episode. <laughs> that's good comedy. It proves why Cartoon Netflix Network Netflix. is better than Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nickelodeon might have Spongebob, but do they have Omelette du Fromage? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna add that to my recommendations, just Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network. What the fuck does that mean? It's like a discussion, you know, about the whole channel. How are we gonna watch the whole <laughs> channel? <laughs> I feel like we've watched enough of the channel. Just watch Teen Titans Go and Spongebob, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much what they are now. Dude, like, the new Adventure Time episodes aren't even getting advertised. Which is more HBO Max's problem than Cartoon Network's, but like, the finale wasn't really advertised either. It kinda sucks. Especially because those were, like, really good. Yeah, they hate TV. No Adventure Time, just Teen Titans Go. (laughs) Damn right, as they should. (laughs) Kevin, I'm gonna beat you up. (laughs) I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Bro, listen, you can insult me, you can insult my family, but the second you say Teen Titans Go is better than Adventure Time, that's when I take it personally. That's when it's Adventure personal. Time's like fine, but like Teen Titans goes comedy gold, dude. <laughs> what? I end with that. Uh, email us at akibaginchasound at gmail dot com if you want a suggestion. If you want, if you want to suggest that Kevin be hanged for his war crimes, then <laughs> oh send my us god. <laughs> <laughs>